Big Daddy with a video on how I customized Mate. So I installed it with with one or two slight issues, but we made it through. And um, obviously I wasn't going to leave it look the way it was. I mean, not that it looks bad, but it's just not my style. And I'll show you what I did. So I went into Control Center, and I actually put a shortcut to the appearance settings right here. And this is what I used. So this is a combination of themes from over the many distro hopping sessions, copying themes from their folders. I have no idea where I got Adweta Dark Panel. No idea. But that's the control set that I'm using. So I can't put a link in the description for that because I have no idea where I got it. But I'm sure you can probably do a search for it. Or you can just pick another one that you like. But there's a lot in here that I have I put it in, tried, didn't really care for, or it was okay, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I just left some of them in there. So that's what I'm using for controls. For the window border, yes, it's a Windows-esque type, but I like the X. What can I say? I'm a I'm a I'm a creature of habit. So Zon Color Extra Redmond Modern, and that is from Chalet OS. So when I had tried Chalet OS, I kept the themes from it, but I'm pretty sure that they used to have the links to download all the themes as well. So um, I will look for that and put a, a link in, in the description for that. Now the icons, uh, there were so many good icons to choose from, but there's, you know, you, you take an icon set and just one or two things is out of place or not right like these icons are lighter than they should be or it's not fitting with the theme you're going for or a couple icons are off like arc is a really good icon theme breeze dark classic is a good icon theme um but none of you know this ev evolve uh icon set evolve ear however you want to call it, is a really good icon set. One of the things that always stopped me from using it was it wasn't quite uniform across the board for the apps. Like, whether I was on KDE or whether I was on XFCE or whatever it might have, whatever, whatever, whatever it might have been, um, it wasn't uniform. So, what I just happened to be searching for and I stumbled onto... Uh, this one here so I was looking through and I didn't realize that gnome look you have to actually register for now in order to look at the themes you can't just go there and not you have to log in I guess I don't know if they security measure or what but um, while I was there thumping around I saw this one and it's for mate and well, the one thing that it does for Mate that the regular set does not do is it makes it uniform all the way across. So when you come into the control center, when you would pick one of these, the regular flat or the vivid or whatever it might have been, some of the icons were big, some of them were small, some of them were missing. And that's what kept me from using the theme before. But lo and behold, when you use the Mate one, they're all there. And they pretty much have an icon for everything except for one or two exceptions like the Software Boutique. And I would just, I would think because it's, you know, a new addition to Mate. But if you look, they're, they're pretty much have an icon for everything. So it looks really good, I think. And so that's the icon theme I went with. The pointers I went with breeze because yeah just old habits die hard you know I like I like the breeze pointer so um, so that's what I went with for the themes now the other thing that I did tweak out is I was able to find out I was so happy that I could edit and change the close and minimize and remove and customize it so if you go into applications and you go to system tools. Um, the deconf editor is installed by default in Mate, and you hit the I will really be careful and I won't mess the system up message that comes up. And what I bookmarked the locations that you need to change. And if you want to pause the video and look at it, uh, that's fine. I can't stop you anyway. I mean, heck. But the these are the places that you have to go to... Um, change it around so it, if you go into org 
go into mate and then go into Marco and general when you come in here this is what it's gonna look like when you first come in here menu all that stuff okay so you can delete the word menu delete the colon and that will remove the menu or you can do what I did was you can basically mix and match whatever wherever you want it so whatever word you put first is going to be on the left now the colon represents what's on the so what whatever is on the left of the colon is going to be on the left and whatever is on the right of the colon is going to be on the right side of the screen so menu would be over here and minimize maximize and close would be over here in that order so I want mine on the left so I put close first put the colon which separates it from left to right and then on the right I have minimize so you're able to tweak it out and it's not quite as easy to or to find um, as KDE was but at least you can do it now the other thing is I'm not an expert at finding this stuff but this these two here I'm not sure which one does it but one of these changes the close minimize button for apps that don't follow the 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 main window border theme like it's like the decomp editor or like plank uh, they don't follow that that theme it falls back to a different theme so normally you you could change like if you just change the Marco general then you would be just changing this one or any program that followed that one but it would still be on the right or still have the the default menu for these type of applications well I don't know if it's the second or third one but one of those changes this these type of applications as well and it puts and it, you can customize the close minimize so I was really happy to find that out and I think I'm really happy with the theming right now and I was using Mate for a couple days already um, but I'm gonna continue using it for a little bit and testing it out and it seems to be running good I changed like I said I did take off the in uh, the advanced menu because it was causing crashing too much so now that I have taken that off I don't crash anymore I, it's taken me a little bit to get used to this type of menu because I'm not used to that I'm used to the favorites and a search and all that stuff but it's okay I'm getting used to it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so if you have any questions comments I'll be in the comments section. Big Daddy out.